you're watching the culture cave i'm with john the cheese guy here on okinawa and we're just uh doing a little bit of alfresco cooking here we are sauteing the cheese and what, what kind of cheese is this this is halloumi halloumi oh, look at that look at that oh, look nice and that i would say is done so there you go thank the you very hand. much wow it. it's very hot very hot <laughs> Mmm. I have no words, it's just delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the sky. Yeah. This is a car park and a little shopping mall mm -hmm. in Nanjo. Mm. So this is a very squeaky cheese as yes, well. That's right. I think it's a fresh cheese. Mmm. Okay, so I'm just yours. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through these cheeses here as well. I've got black pepper. Blue caraway cheese curds, Chura Nanjo, Emmental, Fuchiba, Dalek, Goya, Bitter Melon, the Classics Parmesan, Rosato White, Rosato Soft, Rosato Basil, Mellow Yellow, Kohaku Smoked Cheese, Juniper and Fennel, Halloumi, the one we've just we've just had, which is served on the hot plate. Sakuna cheese from the long life plant. Shikwasa. Citrus. Citrus. Pecorino. Straccino. Taleggio, which we just tried. Triple triple cream. John, I'd love to try the shikwasa if that's a citrus. Yes. Do you have any of that? Yes, we do. I'm a big fan of citrus. So these are, these are the ones. These are my favourites. So. We'll talk about yogurt now. Yes, we've got lots to do. We're going to talk about yogurt. Okay. Um, now, yes, this this yogurt is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so yogurt, uh, yogurt is like that. Mm. See, I mean, it's solid. Yes. So this is because we drain it. Yeah. And the one ingredient in this is milk. This is the only mm. thing in it is the milk. The only thing. Hundred percent natural. Yeah. Wow, that looks amazing. Let me try this. And I like to put wow. cacao nibs on top. And this cacao is nibs. from yeah. winter melon. They make wow. a sweet with winter melon, which is a huge white melon. Oh, this looks amazing. And this syrup is what remains from that process. It's not so, not as sweet oh, as honey. That. Wow. So it's perfect for, for yogurt, I think. It's like the perfect breakfast food, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. That really is lovely, thank you. Mm. So then this is the shikwasa. Right. Which is a, a you. small Okinawan looks like a lime. It's actually right, a kind so of lemon. A, this is a citrus cheese. Yeah. So we can you get the aftertaste mm. of citrus? Yes, yeah. very lime. Oh yes, this mm. is shikwasa with the, I was talking about the winter melon candy. Mm. That's, now try that together, yeah. that is quite amazing. That's a party in your mouth. Yeah. So this is... It's very sweet and crunchy. Yeah. But with the cheese it's yeah. a yes. nice contrast. So cheese and fruit. Oh yeah. Mm. That's lovely. Good. It is kind of crystalline. Yes, crystallized, exactly. Lovely. So it gives it the crunch. Yeah. Which is nice. The contrast yeah. is beautiful. I can almost imagine that having that on a nice bit of um, toast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice winter this food. It would be good, yeah. 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 I'm just going to finish my yogurt. Dessert. A yes, mini dessert. A mini dessert, yes. So, um, John, tell do, us. Do you want me to hold the camera? <laughs> Um, so John, tell us tell us more about about the yogurt um, from Okinawa and why why is Okinawa a great place to make this yogurt? Well, Okinawa is a great place to make cheese generally, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you you wouldn't need a machine to make yogurt. Or anything. Yeah. You just basically you pasteurize the milk mm. and you get it up to body temperature and you put yeah. some more yogurt in it, mix it yeah. up, and cover it. Yeah. And in the morning you've got yogurt. It's like a fresh night. Greek yogurt. It's absolutely well, wonderful. It, yeah, it, it's it's a fresh Okinawan yogurt. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's better than Greek yogurt? 
I don't think Greek yogurt really exists. Mm. You can cut this bit from the video if you like, but mm. I think it's marketing. Uh, uh, yogurt is yogurt, yes. wherever it's from. Yeah. And what I used to have as a kid tasted very much like this, and it was yeah. made in a local dairy. Right, right. You can make this at home. Mm. So I advise customers either buy our yogurt, yogurt or amazing. make your own. I'm going to want a big one of that. <laughs> okay. For my week here. Yeah, I'll get um, get stocked up actually. So, so, John, how much are you selling these for? These are. So these are 900 yen. And 900 these are 450. Yen. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to get a big one from you actually. Okay. <laughs> that'll last me because I'm, I'm in my hotel for like a week so that'll be a, a lovely breakfast food um yeah so the one we tried just now was the shikwasa which is the okinawan yeah. citrus fruit somewhat like a lime and is used often to flavor drinks and it's described here as a taste of sunshine i think that's uh, that's pretty pretty accurate to say Ah, yes, 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 yes. So this yogurt yes. is so nice good flavour of pick cacao. One up now. So the cacao nibs and don't forget the sakura. Sakura, sakura, uh, sakura yes. cheese. Sakura. So this is going to be a seasonal cheese. Now sakura season is just wrapping up here, isn't it, in Okinawa? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Very it's early. Mid January. Mid, mid January we had the and it's now mid February. Yes. So the leaves are coming out now. So the They're coming out now. Children, yeah. Heavy rainfall will bring the petals down. Mm, yes. Yeah. Anyway, have you had a good season? I heard it was very. It's very good. Yeah. Very abundant. Beautiful. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. So a great season to make this cheese. Yeah, it was the first time to try it. And I think it, it's it's very successful. It's, mm. it's it's really nice. A nice aftertaste of of the cherry. Lovely. Yeah. I can't wait to try that one. I've got a feeling I might like it. Wow, there you go. look at that. So you can see the petals in there. Pink. And that's the actual. That's all itself. we have left yet, and I have orders. For that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's something, and it's something a bit different because mm. you have all of these kind of sweet cherry blossom foods. Yes, yes. This yes. you have kind of like the. The juxtaposition Savory. of the flavours. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. Mm. It's, it's exciting. Yeah, the, the whole thing is just, it's, it's wonderful to play with this. Mm. It's just so much you can do with it. It's incredible. Yes. So we were, we were talking earlier about cheese being an art. Mm. And it, it really is an art, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's an art, it's a science, it's also science, yes. as you said. Mm. You have to think of it scientifically as well. Yeah. But, when I'm training new cheesemakers, I always tell, tell them this, that the recipe doesn't make the cheese, you make it. Yeah. And it's kind of like you're, you're teaching, right? Yeah. So yeah. you teach the students. Yes. It's, it's not the textbook. Yeah, yeah. So. And kind of, I suppose, giving yourself the permission and the freedom to become experimental with it. Yeah. And how far do you push, do you push the boundaries? So are, yeah. you going, are you going to make lots of new cheeses oh, going yeah. forward? Mm, lots and lots of ideas. Yeah. Okinawa is an abundant place for that because there are lots of special herbs and spices here mm -hmm. that don't exist other, in other places. Yeah. And for perfect. example? Well, turmeric is one. Turmeric. Oh, yes, I mean, you, you do have that in other places as well. Yes. But it's specific for Okinawa. Is it a native, is it a native um, herb of Okinawa? I, I wonder. think so, but I wouldn't want to bet on it. It's certainly yes. been around a, a long time. Yes, yeah. yes, because that begs the question, if it did 